Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope everybody is doing great today. First, a friendly reminder to take a sip of water if you have not in a while. Make sure to do that. Secondly, before we get started into the topic of this video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out because my Patreon stickers finally came in. I'm so excited. I painted my nails so freaking quickly for this picture. I debated on only painting the visible ones. It was a mess, but here they are. I'm super excited. They're sparkly, which is very exciting for me because, um, sparkles so anyways <laughs> if you want to get these stickers or this print be sure to join my eight dollar or fifteen dollar tier there's a sticker tier and then the postcard tier which also has the stickers um on my patreon before october 1st to receive these in the mail for um a bit of a cheaper price than if i were to sell them on etsy so um yee let's get started into the topic of this video First things first, this process video today is actually a draw this in your style from the lovely Sam Does Art. Uh, their art is honestly so cool. Uh, it is also ongoing, so it's not due until October 1st if anyone else wants to take part. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was a super cute design and overall I really wanted to kind of um, make the pose a bit more extreme. I wanted it to look like her cheek was being pushed up by her shoulder. I don't know if I succeeded i tried to make her cheek look chubby there but anyways please check out sam does art they're awesome their art is super cute and really interesting to look at so uh yeah check them out their instagram link will be down below also a quick note this was a collaboration um between sam does art and xp pen because it is a giveaway so yee yee now to the actual topic of this video how to start an art account on instagram and um, start gaining traction. My very, very first tip, and to me, this one is really, really important if you plan to sort of like make a brand out of your art. That's something that I always wanted to do, um, which is why I'm Hey Liz and I have a couple of shirts out with that brand. Um, but that the shirts and everything, they didn't come out until like years later, like three or so years of using my Instagram. But I didn't wanna have to change my handle if I didn't have to. Um, and I, I wanted my name to be something small um, and easily recognizable if I was able to reach that point um, in my career. So the very first thing that I did um, was find my username. And the biggest part of that for me was to Google the crap out of the name that I like to make sure that it wasn't already used elsewhere. I checked everywhere. There's actually a lot of um, websites where you can check all social media um, all at once to see if there's any of that username. And then you can make a brand out of it. Sorry if you hear purring, my cat just found the soft blanket. But <laughs> that's definitely my biggest, biggest tip at the very beginning when you are making your art account is to have a name that is short and simple. Um, it is easier if you don't have like underscores and stuff in it and something that you could uh, potentially brand and that is not already used. I chose Hey Liz because my first name is actually Haley, um, Haley Elizabeth, and that's where Hey Liz comes from. And it really worked out and I really like it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I went with that and I'm glad that I thought of that before I started my account. I originally did have a different art account and it, um, I don't even remember what the username was. So that's how unmemorable it was. So a memorable username that is not already picked that you could potentially brand. First tip. My second tip is to plan to make this a strict art account. Um, I know personally, I don't follow art accounts that is a mix, like a big mix of personal stuff and art stuff. I really just want to follow um, art accounts and that's what I want to see on my page, especially with the algorithm and it har it's, it's hard to see the art that you love sometimes. So I don't often follow accounts that um, post a lot of personal stuff as well. And I feel like that's actually quite common. So if you're going to be making an art account, which could potentially lead to future freelance work, companies might find you this way, I definitely recommend keeping it strictly art with the occasional personal post, which is obviously okay. Um, but yeah, 
definitely plan for that. A lot of people will have a personal account and an art account, which I do as well, and it definitely works out better. Nobody wants to see pictures of um, sushi when they <laughs> want to see art, you know what I mean? So not that sushi is bad. I love sushi. Sushi is great. But definitely keep it strictly art. Make that plan. Make it from the get-go get and just keep posting your work, you know? And uh, yeah, that's definitely tip number two. That one is a no-brainer for me. Um, definitely stick to it if your goal is to possibly make a living off of your art. I would like to also mention that I do not make a living off of my art, but I have heard this tip from other artists who do. So definitely, definitely, this is a big one, art account. My third tip is to follow other accounts that inspire you. On my art account, I almost strictly follow other art accounts, um, including cosplay, makeup, anything that inspires me to draw. Fill your homepage with that. With the algorithm, it can be very hard to see art that's inspiring you if you're following a bunch of other accounts so again um when you have this strict art account also i also highly recommend strictly following other art accounts um to stay inspired staying inspired is incredibly hard to do trying to be an artist full-time is a long haul it takes a long time i'm not even close to there yet but seeing seeing artwork on my page on my home page that i go wow wow look at the color scheme look at look at the way they drew that arm look at their pose as they cosplay look at their costume like it's incredibly helpful so following other art accounts staying inspired is definitely tip number three tip number four is supporting other artists commenting sharing saving liking all that stuff especially commenting um it's gonna help you uh, not only grow and possibly be seen by other artists, but maybe make some art friends. Having art friends is incredibly motivational. Watching each other grow, that kind of thing, it it, it really, really helps. Um, it also helps other artists and hopefully in return, other artists will do the same for you. Um, but don't, don't expect it. Don't like for like. Don't comment on other people's posts asking them to check out your art. Do not do that because the great number of artists that I know will ignore those comments. Um, but be kind. Be kind on other people's posts. Tell them what you love about their art piece. Do not tell them what you think they could do better unless they ask for a critique. And just try and make friends in the art community. That is definitely, definitely tip number four. And yeah, while you're inspired, help inspire others as well. Tip number five, and this correlates with the process video today, is take part in events. Take part in lots of events. Just keep going. Um, draw this in your styles. Redraw events in general are super helpful, super fun. You can learn a lot. Um, and other people will see your art because that hashtag is popular right now. So overall, um, draw this in your styles, screen cap redraws if they're trending, that kind of stuff is super, super helpful in growing on the Instagram platform. With the way it is right now, again, I mentioned the algorithm, it's really tough to get your name out there. Don't be discouraged. Um, like I said, it's going to take a while and it's going to take even longer with the way Instagram is now, but just keep going be active you got this take part in events they're so much fun they are absolutely a blast so that is my final tip for today um generally just stay active you guys have fun um instagram can be really hard mentally so take care of yourselves don't let it get to you it will eventually but take a moment take a breather remind yourself one step at a time that's the only way that you're going to reach your goal and uh, yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I know I say a lot of ums and I'm a crazy person, but uh, yeah, these tips are on my mind constantly when I am using so social media. So I hope they can help you out today. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoy the process video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.